Well, let's carry on with some other requests. Tabu is asking about Netflix. Now, Tabu, I mean, can you believe it? This wonderful company, and I've showed it on the show before, but I actually want to show it again. Look at this sell-off. I mean, from $700, that is in October 2021, to 173 in a matter of four months. And I can remember, that when Netflix was around 550, 600, I had numerous calls of clients asking me, where can I buy it because I want to hold it. Now, this is the problem. But look at this waterfall formation. Now, I want to go back and I want to see if there's maybe a chance that there's maybe a reversal because I know there's a lot of viewers that would love to get into Netflix. But what is the sad story here? There is no reversal candle here. This candle right at the bottom just tells you there's an ugly marabuzu candle, there's a bell gold line, there's a gravestone doji, almost an inverse hammer, there's another hammer. It just tells you every time that the share price just lifts its head, there's people coming in to sell it. So unfortunately for me, this 40-week moving average right at the top, yes, it can go lower. There's something else. Always remember this also acts as a magnet. So if the share price are going to turn around, we'll see a rapid move to the top. And that makes me a little bit worried that everybody's buying, 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 and they're not waiting for a reversal candle. Now, let's see, where is the first sign of strength? I just want to zoom it out a little bit for you, so that you can see. I mean, look at this waterfall. Can you believe that the Netflix chart will look like this? I mean, everybody was just so keen on Netflix. The first sign of strength, and that's on a weekly chart, will be, can you believe it, above 183.20, and then your stop loss will be 173.10. So this is now a case of there's a lot of NASDAQ companies listed on the NASDAQ that is sitting in the same situation. The share prices have been hammered to pieces. So there's a lot of traders, and I want to, to just emphasize this point. In a bear market, and I mentioned it before, in a bear market, you get these massive relief rallies, although the trend is down. And I can tell you now, there's a lot of traders that's waiting for that because they believe even if there's a little bit of a bounce, let's say from 180, it goes to 210 or 205. There's some nice money for them in there, but it doesn't mean that the long-term investors will climb in. The rule of a long-term investor, you only get involved with the, when the 40-week moving average turns into a support. So, this is maybe a long period of time before this 40-week moving average will turn into a support. For relief bounces, yes. And above that line, I just showed it, we can see 204. Can you believe that? And even 21666. That is the first signs of, of resistance that we can see to the top. But I, I just warn you, stick to your stop loss because 173 is maybe cheap, but maybe 100 rand is cheaper. Nelson is asking about Netgear. Now, Nelson, if I look at this chart, I mean, this is a company that did very well um, during the, uh, the COVID period. And a lot of people went to hospital, and I'm sure a lot of people always go to hospitals with different problems. And what I don't like about the share, there's your 40-week moving average. I mean, the share is below that, so that is a resistance. That's a negative for me. But what I don't like about it, can you see what I'm showing you? There is a head and shoulder formation here. There's the left shoulder. There's the head. There's the right shoulder. And we're working on another right shoulder. Yes. And where can it go to if it breaks to the downside? I just want to show you here. Um, it can easily surprise us all. I'll give the neckline now. Um, if it breaks down that neckline, there you are. It can take it down to that level there. Um, the neckline sits at... 14 rand and 17. And what I've learned over the years, if the share price is almost in no man's line, you don't know if it will maybe break to the upside and you see a beautiful triangle reversal, or you, you cannot see that it's going to break this neckline for a head and shoulder formation, the best is just to sit on your hands. So Tabu may be a little bit early. We'll maybe look at the, the chart again in time to come. But um, of course, at the moment, I'm in limbo here and we're only above this level. I mean, only above 16 and 12 cents. Uh, the right shoulder will be wiped off the table and then the negativity will be gone. But at the moment, unfortunately, the 
chart worries me a little bit. Rashid is asking about Arsol Natal. Now, now Rashid, if I look at this chart, um, what worries me is, remember, we had a beautiful rally. I can remember on the show in 2021, right at the bottom there at 60 cents, we pulled the chart because 40-week moving average were turning into a support. It was beautiful, higher lows all the way. But unfortunately, this rally from 6 rand 17 all the way to 10 rand in a matter of weeks, I think that was maybe just a little bit too steep. And what I don't like about it is this high, there's a lower high, and we've already seen a lower low here. That makes me a little bit worried. Where's the strong support here? There's your strong support. Now, I know some of the long-term investors will say, yes, I bought it at 70 cents. I'm not worried. The share price still looks wonderful to me. Um, the company is doing okay. And um, everybody's happy. But what I don't like about it is, where is your support? Your support sits at 590. Now, what investors usually do is if they buy a share right at the bottom and the share starts to gain momentum, when it gets to 9 Rand or 10 Rand, they believe that this share will never go down again. And they will then start thinking about the 20 Rand and the 30 Rand and the 40 Rand because now they're going to become rich out of the share. Remember, the last two years was a gift. The market printed money. The interest rates were low. COVID um, helped. The companies came in, got cheap money. Um, big institutions like the Federal Reserve printed money. They just put everything up. Now, this is what happens. We had a skewed situation. Everybody said, no, but nothing is wrong. Suddenly, these share prices tells us that there was an overshoot. So, for me, Remember, shares can also drop. And it doesn't mean that the share price will maybe go back to 50 cents or 20 cents. That doesn't mean that. What it means is maybe this was just an overshoot and it maybe can come back to that. So for me, Rashid, I will not buy it. I'll wait for it to find a support level. I'll wait probably to see if I can get a reversal candle. Let's see if there is one. And uh, look at that. There is no reversal candle yet. In actual fact, look at, look at the shadows. There were some shadows on weekly charts. He's just showing you that there's some shadows. Yes, there is a shadow. Maybe you can say, yes, France, that looks positive. But look at this 40-week moving average. I just want to show you here. It looks like there's a negative technical goodbye kiss there. It came there. It bounced again that 8 rand level. It's starting to move back. And I can bet you a dollar. If this share breaks below 7 rand, it can easily go and find the support line. So just be a little bit careful just to say it can just recover and go to all previous highs. Mohammed asks about Remgro. Now, now Remgro is one of my favorite stocks. I love the company. Um, I'm always, <laughs> um, you can always say upset with myself if I don't buy if it really comes back. But um, look at this chair. I mean, strong performer. But what I don't like is this. And I mentioned earlier on the program, if some of the bigger companies start to worry charts, then suddenly something is on the go. And we on this support line. And look what happened there. It tested it once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven times. That looks positive to me. The only thing that worries me is that if this line breaks, look at it. There's your 40-week moving average. That 40-week moving average is at 133.93. So although... We are happy about this company. Although it looks beautiful to me, I'm just a little bit nervous and I will not buy it. In actual fact, I will see if this 40-week moving average holds. If that 40-week moving average holds at 134, yes, then we can maybe look at buying it because then it can easily bounce off there and then we can have a nice tight stop loss. There's your stop loss of 129.76 and it can easily go back to 139.20 and even 145. For me personally, I want this chart to tell me that it can bounce off this 40-week moving average. It looks like there's a lot of shares that's actually testing their 40-week moving averages. And I think they all wait for the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is below its 40-week moving average. If the S&P 500 cannot regain that momentum above the 40-week moving average, we can maybe see these stop counters all lose a little bit of momentum. I think he's asking about Google. Now, remember, Google is um, 
blue chip of a blue chip company. Um, but what I don't like about the share price is that since 2020, look at this, it went up from 1065 to $3,000. All right? That's in two years. Now suddenly we see lower highs, we see lower lows, there's a lower low, and we see it's still moving down. Now, if you look at this, and I know some people use Elliott Wave, and I also like Elliott Wave, and if I do a rough chance from there to the top, only down 50% is about 1,980. If you take 60, 40, it's 150. So it just tells you there is still plenty momentum to the downside. What I can tell you, is that the Nasdaq lost about two, 3,000 points. And I think there will be a lot of fund managers that will say, Netflix is cheap, Google is cheap, there's opportunities here. So remember, even below this 200 or 40 week moving average, you can easily see a rapid move to the top. We will only get positive if this share can get above 40 week. And for traders, where will it get excited or interesting to me? Because I believe that we can maybe see these relief bounces, there you are, and that relief bounce will be above 2,326. I will then make, make use of a stop loss. Where is my stop loss? Oh, that's a big stop loss there. I'd rather use that one there. 2,246, and where's my targets? There's a little target there. 2,497, and maybe back to 2,600. Moves, can you believe that? But I'm a little bit nervous that everybody is chasing this market, maybe just for a blip and then a sell off again. I mean, if you're a trader, stick to your stop loss, don't be greedy, take your profit, and off you go. Well, thank you so much. My time is out, and let's chat again. Visit our website, www.francedeclare.com, and we will chat again.